Welcome back to the Guitar Plugin Shootout. I'm comparing four different plugin um, manufacturers, Positive Grid, Amplitube, Native Instruments, Guitar Rig, and the Plugin Alliance package, the subscription bundle. And uh, I've been building up this basically library of riffs and licks that I can compare different sounds against. And you'll see that a load of stuff's disappeared from last episode. That's because, switch views, this is a recently refretted by me, never done it before, uh, and you can see, shouldn't really hold it so that you can see all the imperfections in the fretboard, but my Strat is refretted and sounding absolutely gorgeous. So because this is the only guitar I want to play at the moment, I have to build up a new library, there's no point trying to compare these two guitars. Uh, one's got humbuckers, uh, one's got single coils, they, they just sound radically, radically different. And so they're going to sound different through all of these amp emulations and whatnot as well. So started a new project. These um, lines that I've played have been played in on the Strat, so I'll be able to toggle between these two different projects. So that's what service announcement number one. Second thing to talk about is plugin of choice today. It's the blue one. So we're going to do everything to do with Boss choruses, or my closest emulation thereof. Native Instruments doesn't have um, a direct chorus implementation, but we'll get to that eventually. Let's start off with the bias. So this is the Boss CE1. This is where it all began. Um, and you, you just can't get these these days. Five, six, seven hundred pound will buy you one of these second hand. <laughs> really get much out of the intensity knob. You also need to make a decision when you're dealing with modulation before or after the cab. Let's play that again. Not much difference. Very nice chorus, it's not wonderful. No. I'm not completely blown away by it. I think this one is better, if a little unruly. Uh, this is another C1 emulation uh, by Amplitube. And this one is a bit, <laughs> it is a bit manic. Now I'll play that again and move the unit in front of the speaker, it's really dramatic with this unit. It calms it down a lot. It's a bit too thin for my liking, I prefer it afterwards. I seem to just get, there's a lot more going on there, it sounds like a really interesting sound. I painstakingly tuned my guitar. Chorus makes everything sound very slightly out of tune. It's a fundamental nature. That's it is actually detuning everything. That's why you get that. But this this guitar was excruciatingly carefully tuned. Just you know, FYI. <laughs> That, um, that chord on the bias. It's a bit too distant. It's not really kind of, you know, emotionally connecting with me. A 
this is maybe slightly louder, but not really. Now then, all of that was not the main course because my favorite of all of these emulations, and I don't generally like to take, talk about favorites. This is amazing. It's just that simple. This ensemble unit, I must confess, I don't even know what it's emulating. Um, if anybody knows, please stick it in the comments below, but this is just the one. Minus 15, minus 16, somewhere in that region. That is one hell of a chorus sound. It's not an emulation of a boss effect. There isn't one in a guitar rig, but this just sounds so good I had to have it. if you agree it just seems to sit completely where you want chorus is a really difficult sound to get right because it's detuning everything it's really easy for everything to sound wrong and there's something about that that ensemble unit that just completely nails it now i do have a second offering here this is a bit more in the boss territory this is um, an emulation of the boss dimension effect so if you if you switch choral to d you've got four different engines here and d is the uh, boss dimension. Now I've got a DC3, which I actually prefer. If I want a chorusy kind of sound, I tend to go more for the DC3 than um, the CE2 these days. It's got more of a kind of Steve Rothery, bright, Kaylee sort of sound, and I think this does a really good emulation of it. I did actually try turning them both on at the same time. It's not hideous. It's like the ultimate sin to modulate modulation, but I don't care. I think that sounds pretty good actually. Fantastic. That I think that ensemble is going to be my go-to chorus plugin of choice. I finally found something that can compete uh, with the hardware. And it's I don't know what it is about chorus emulations, but it seems to be really hard to find good ones. Now this is Plugin Alliance's offering, and as you can see, it's a direct emulation for CE2. We've got our usual ridiculous um, volume differences. If somebody can tell me why I'm being so stupid. Why can't I get these volumes to match? So I've turned the chorus off. Listen to the amp on its own. Way too loud. It's knocking what, 10 dB? 6 to 10 dB off the sound. Weird. Anyway, let's just listen to the thing.
not amazing. Let's do a direct head to head. Dirty. Let's see what that sounds like. It's a bit too loud, I'm afraid, but that is that is nice. finding the sound you know th these different units on some of the others the amplitude was pulling away but guitar rig is right back in the conversation plug-in alliance has yet to shine you know maybe it's day will come but that's that's eye-watering hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button join me for the next one see you then thanks a lot